Hey, that leads me to the next question, Michael, which is very important. Let's just say, hypothetically speaking, that he wins in November and he's in office for another four years. We're learning that he owes an upwards of $400 million. Isn't that a national security threat? Am I wrong in thinking that? Well, it certainly raises lots of questions. What is he willing to do in order to satisfy that debt? Now, he can refinance, and this is why the presidency has great value to him. He may wind up saying, well, look, going forward, whatever happens to me, Trump hotels bear the name of a president, and that's going to make them valuable worldwide. We could expand. We could franchise in places that you've never even considered. Wow. So he could actually, I think, thrive financially, maybe refinance this debt. And, and that's something that people really should understand. Having this amount come due is an issue, but it's only an issue if you can't roll it over. And it, it helps when people think about this, to think about how they handle their own mortgages. You know, sometimes mm-hmm. people will remortgage a property and, and extend the term and take cash out, and it works out just fine mm-hmm. because that property holds its value. The problem when it's billions of dollars worth of real estate is that you could hit a 2007-2008 crisis and the portfolio could collapse Many of these loans have written into them provisions mm-hmm. for calling the loans early in exigent circumstances, and all of Trump's properties could wind up in somebody else's hands.